Hi everyone, it's Robbie from Bella here and in this video I'm going to take a closer look at the new GUI functionality in the Bella IDE. We also have a previous video that gives an overview of all the base functionality of the browser-based IDE that I highly recommend watching if you haven't. But um, yet again I have a Bella Mini starter kit plugged into my laptop. So to open up the, the Bella IDE, just want to open a new tab and go to bella.local. And this allows us to connect to the IDE, which is actually being served from the Bella board itself. So there's no need to have an internet connection to access this. And by default, this is a C++ project that's opened up, but I want to navigate to the GUI example folder and open the simple example. So this example generates a low frequency oscillator in the C++ code, it's at 0.1 Hertz. And it sends that data to a sketch.js file that we also have in this project. So let us start that project running. Here we go, building. And once that is finished, we can hit the launch GUI button, which in a new tab will open the GUI. So here we can see that sign being visualized uh, and in this side it's just a, a circle moving up and down the page with um, an opacity and in this case it's a circle changing size at the same pace as the, the sign tone in our C++ project. So if we look at the project explorer tab here we'll see that alongside the render.cpp file which is the one that we've been looking at uh, there is also a sketch.js file and this file is written in p5.js and this is where the GUI is generated so here if for those of you who are familiar with processing this will look very familiar so we have um, background to draw the background we have uh, fill stroke weight ellipse to draw the circles and we're receiving the data from the C++ file here via this bella.datos.buffers. Let's open up the graph example. And let's run this project. So again, I have a potentiometer connected to analog input zero of the Bella board. And this example, once it starts running, if I launch the GUI, this is a real time graph of the the data that's coming this the the signal that's coming from the potentiometer and so here if i just turn it up and down um and we also have the ability to pause the graphing just by pressing the space bar and then you, you can actually zoom in onto a single point or zoom out and by clicking on that point, you can see the exact uh, information that's stored there. Hit spacebar again, and we continue graphing in real time. So this is just to give you an idea of some of the, the potential that lies in integrating P5.js with your Bella projects. So alongside visualizing bits of data from your C++ project, we can also use P5.js to control the code that's running on the board. So in this example, rather than sending information from C++ to the, the sketch.js file, we're doing it the opposite way around. So if I launch the GUI here, what's being sent is the XY position on the screen. And this is being used to control the pitch and panning of an oscillator. So hopefully these examples have shown you some of the potential that this new GUI functionality in Bella has. Whether that's for visualizing signals in any way you can imagine or for building more complex control interfaces for your projects. And I'm just going to finish this video with some footage of some more accomplished instruments that we've built with the GUI functionality that shows some of this potential.